Once upon a time, in the mystical land of ancient Japan, there existed a powerful and revered deity known as Inari Okami. Inari Okami was the Shinoto god of rice, fertility, agriculture, and prosperity. The deity was often depicted as a wise and benevolent fox with multiple tails, symbolizing its divine nature and wisdom. Inari Okami had a deep connection with the people and the land, and its influence extended far and wide. The deity was believed to watch over the farmers and the rice fields, ensuring bountiful harvests and the well-being of the community. It was also considered the patron of merchants and tradesmen, blessing their endeavors with success and abundance. Legend has it that Inari Okami possessed a sacred artifacts known as the Yobi no Tama, or the Jewel of Command. This mystical jewel bestowed upon its possessor the ability to communicate with animals, control the forces of nature, and bring good fortune to those who possessed it. However, the jewel was said to be hidden deep within the sacred Mount Inari, a towering peak surrounded by lush forests and pristine lakes. In a small village nestled at the foot of Mount Inari, a young farmer named Hiroshi lived with his elderly mother. Hiroshi was known for his hard work, determination, and deep reverence for Inari Okami. Every day he diligently tended to his rice fields, offering prayers and making offerings to the deity in gratitude for the abundant harvests. One fateful day, a surf drought struck the village, leaving the fields parched and the crops withering away. The villagers grew desperate as their livelihoods were at stake. Hiroshi, driven by his unwavering faith in Inari Okami, decided to embark on a perilous journey to seek the divine intervention of the deity. With his mother's blessings and carrying a small talisman, blessed by the village's priest, Hiroshi set off towards the sacred mount in Nari. The path was treacherous, winding through dense forests and steep cliffs. Along the way, he encountered various challenges, from wild animals to sudden storms, but his determination never wavered. After days of arduous travel, Hiroshi finally reached the foot of Mount Inari. With a heart full of hope and reverence, he began his ascent, climbing the stone steps that led to the summit. As he climbed higher, he could feel the presence of Inari Okami growing stronger guiding him towards the sacred shrine that housed the Yobi no Tama. Upon reaching the shrine, Hiroshi found himself in awe of its grandeur. The air was thick with a serene energy, and the shrine's surroundings were adorned with countless statues of boxes paying homage to Inari Okami. With great humility, Hiroshi approached the altar and offered his earnest prayers, pouring out his heart's desire 
for rain and the revival of the villagers' crops. As if in response to his plea, a gentle breeze began to blow, and the sky darkened with clouds. Thunder rumbled, and raindrops started to fall. Drenching the parched air, Hiroshi's heart filled with joy and gratitude, knowing that his prayers had been answered by Inari Okami. In that moment, the deity appeared before Hiroshi in the form of a majestic fox with nine tails, radiating a divine aura. Inari Okami commended Hiroshi's unwavering faith and dedication, promising to bless the village with abundance and prosperity once again. The deity then entrusted Hiroshi with a small veal counting a gold liquid, explaining that it possessed the power to revitalize the corpse and ensure their future prosperity. Filled with gratitude, Hiroshi descended from the summit carrying the veal of divine essence. As he returned to the village, he shared the miraculous news of Inari Okami's intervention and the gift bestowed upon him. The villagers rejoiced, and together they performed a grand ceremony, giving thanks to the deity for their salvation. True to Inari Okami's promise, the rains continued to fall, nourishing the fields and bringing them back to life. The crops flourished, and the village once again thrived with abundance. Hiroshi became a revered figure in the community, known as the one who had journeyed to Mount Inari and brought back the divine blessings. From that day forward, the village held an annual festival in honor of Inari Okami, celebrating the deity's benevolence and the bountiful harvests. Hiroshi continued to serve as a guardian of the shrine tending to the sacred grounds and sharing the story of his miraculous journey. The divine intervention of Inari Okami remained etched in the hearts and minds of the villagers for generations to come, and the legends of Hiroshi, the humble farmer who embarked on a courageous quest and received the blessings of the God of Prosperity and Fertility was passed down as a testament to the power of faith and the enduring connection between humans and the Divine. The tale of Inari Okami and Hiroshi served as a reminder that in the face of adversity, unwavering belief and determination could lead to miracles and the restoration of hope. And so, the legacy of Inari Okami lived on, inspiring countless generations to cultivate their faith, honor, the land, and the seek blessings of prosperity and abundance. Certainly, let's delve deeper into the story of Inari Okami and explore additional elements surrounding the deity and its influence on the people of ancient Japan. Inari Okami, revered as a god of rice and agriculture, was believed to have a profound connection 
with the natural world. The deity's divine energy extended beyond the rice fields and encompassed the forests, rivers, and the mountains. It was said that Inari Okami had the ability to communicate with the spirits of nature, ensuring the harmony and balance of the ecosystem. The fox, known as Kitsune, in Japanese folklore, held a special place in the mythology of Inari Okami. The foxes were considered messengers and guardians of the deity, often depicted with multiple tails, symbolizing their spiritual power and wisdom. It was believed that the foxes could shapeshift into human form and act as intermediaries between Inari Okami and the mortal realm. The relationship between Inari Okami and the foxes was further highlighted in the story of the deity's divine artifacts. The Yobi no Tama, according to ancient tales, the Yobi no Tama was not an ordinary jewel, but a manifestation of Inari Okami's wisdom and power. It was said that the jewel could grant extraordinary abilities to those who possessed it, including the power to communicate with animals, control the weather, and bring prosperity. The sacred Mount Inari, where the Yobi Notama was believed to be hidden, held ominous spiritual significance. The mountain's lush surroundings, with its towering trees and shimmering lakes, were considered a sacred realm where the divine and mortal realms intertwined. The journey to Mount Inari was seen as a test of one's faith and determination, as it required traversing treacherous trains and enduring various trials along the way. In the story, Hiroshi's journey to Mount Inari symbolized the resilience and unwavering faith of the human spirit. His dedication to his community and his trust in Inari Okami drove him forward, even in the face of adversity. Hiroshi's encounter with the deity at the shrine demonstrated the intimate bond between mortals and the divine, reinforcing the belief that faith, humanity, and sinister prayers could lead to divine intervention and blessings. The vial of golden liquid bestowed upon Hiroshi by Inari Okami represented the life-giving essence of the deity's power. Its miraculous ability to revitalize the crops and ensure prosperity emphasized the deity's role as a provider and guardian of abundance. This gift became a symbol of hope and gratitude for the villagers, reminding them of the deity's benevolence and the cyclical nature of life and harvest. The annual festival held in honor of Inari Okami became a cherished tradition allowing the villagers to come together in celebration and gratitude. The festival encompassed vibrant processions, music, dance, and the elaborate offering to honor the deity and express gratitude for the bountiful harvests. It also served as a reminder of the interconnectedness between humans nature, and the divine fostering a sense of unity and reverence with the community. The story of Inari Okami and Hiroshi 
became a legendary tale passed down through generations, inspiring countless individuals to collective their faith, honor the land, and recognize the divine presence in their lives. It exemplified the power of belief, determination, and the potential for miracles in times of hardship. Through the enduring legacy of Inari Okami, the people of ancient Japan found solace, guidance, and a sense of communal harmony. The deity's influence continued to shape their lives, fostering a deep connection with nature, gratitude for the abundance of the land, an unwavering belief in the divine forces that governed their existence. And so, dear readers, this is the tale of Inari Okami and Hiroshi, a story that continues to captivate hearts and minds with its message of faith, resilience, and divine intervention. If you found this story enchanting and inspiring, we invite you to like and subscribe to our channel to discover more captivating tales from the rich tapestry of mythology and folklore. By subscribing, you will ensure that you never miss out on the opportunity to embark on extraordinary journeys, explore the realms of gods and goddesses, and uncover the timeless wisdom hidden with these ancient tales. Together, we can keep the magic alive and share the beauty of mythology with generations to come. So, hit that like button and subscribe to our channel to stay connected with the captivating world of myth and legend. Remember, the power of storytelling lies within each and every one of us. And by sharing these tales, we keep the flame of wonder and imagination burning bright. Thank you for joining us on this magnificent adventure, and we look forward to sharing more captivating stories with you soon. Like, subscribe, and let the magic continue.